Right. Um, hi. Me, your friend Tom from the internet. Anyway, so yeah, I'm the guy that, you know, kind of just used to upload stuff to this channel. Oh my god, look at that fringe. You notice my hair's a lot longer than the last time I did one of these vlogs? Yeah, that's right, I'm doing a vlog. Um, so yeah, vlog. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. So yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I did my Twitch streams. It was all going okay. It was getting more viewers than I used to get. Nice. And somehow I stopped doing that. I'm kind of at the moment falling a bit away from gaming and obsessively playing one game. Obsessively playing any game, actually. See, the thing is... Okay, real talk. I'm going to get real now. Yeah. Uh, let's try and edit this. Oh, we can't. Can we? Look. Okay. We've got something cool here, you know. Just just so we know. That, that's pathetic. Hold on. Yeah. Real talk, yo. So, um... Yeah, the way it seems to be is that I boot up a game now. And I'm like, there's something else I could probably be doing right now that's going to result in me having a life. And that doesn't mean that I go outside and be like, hey, people. Although I probably should do that, and we'll get to that. But, yeah, it's, it's like... If I continue just spending my life playing games, I don't have much of a future. And it's kind of holding me back. I don't know. It's such a big part of my life ever since I finished college. I mean, even at uni, uh, the actual amount of work I did outside of uni time was negligible. I'd come home, I'd play games. If I had an essay to do, I would leave it to the last minute. I mean, I breezed by it because film studies is fucking easy. Um... Yeah. I, mean, I dropped out because I fucking hated that uni university that I went to. People there were cool. Some of them. A few of them. Some of them weren't so cool. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what's new? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's get back to actually going. So, yeah. I kind of wanted to go to Korea to teach English. I thought that'd be really cool. Then I realised something, but I didn't do my research. I, I never do. This is how I do things. I'm like, I'm going to become an astronaut. And then they're like, you need to pass uh, all this fitness test, all this, this, that. I'm going to play games. So, yeah. I need to stop falling back on some weird dream where I get to play video games for a living. Because it's not happening. But anyway, so I'm still pretty serious about the whole career thing. I mean... Look at it. I got some book. Um, so yeah, I've got to go back to uni. Not to UCS, because fuck that. Which also means I get to decide... Oh, did I point out that I don't, can't work in Korea unless I have a degree? You don't need a specific degree, just bachelor's degree. Three years or, you know... Although I figured that with certain degrees, they allow you to do, like, super fast course. I, there was, there's a word for it, and I've forgotten it. My mind's gone blank. Um, but basically, instead of doing three years, you do two years, but you work through the summers. And, yeah, I could do that. So it's choosing what I want to do. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I did Google the easiest uh, <laughs> degrees and then everyone was like that's every like reply to a topic of that is basically yeah that's the wrong reason to go to university I'm like but I do need just a degree any so it's choosing between you know I could go back and do film if I find a decent university um 
I could also do journalism. Do. The what I want. The one thing that stopped me from doing going back and doing film because that'd be piss easy. It's is the fact that um, film's not going to get me a lot of opportunities in the real world. Right. Like, Part of the reasons I became disillusioned with fucking film studies as a like degree it was the first week of the films. The first week of the course, I read a book. It was uh, Robert Rodriguez's story about her thing. And you know, the very first thing he says is, "Don't go to film school. It's a waste of money. Take that money and spend it on making films." So, yeah. Um, Experience would be better than the thing. Um, so yeah, the other thing was that I mentioned is that I always feel really unmotivated. Right now, I'm kind of motivated. I mean, I did this vlog. I mean, I'm never going to do another one. My motivation problems, I think, are what caused me to just repeatedly abandon this YouTube channel. Um, I say um way too much, but... I think one of the real problems there is that I don't get out enough and I'm beginning to think that I probably have a vitamin D deficiency. It would explain so much. I mean, I checked WebMD and uh, I've got all the symptoms now. No, but it's... All the signs are there. And yeah, I basically don't get outside. But yeah, I've been... Um, Working out. You know, I try to do two hours every other day of exercise, and I'm at, usually I used to do it where I'd be like, "Yeah, let's do this," and uh, then I would forget about it after about a week or something would happen. But now I'm really it's ingrained into my life at this point. I've been doing it so long, and the best advice I got was <laughs> told is just do it. Don't go out and tell everyone like about it because that's what I used to do. I'd be like, "Hey guys, check out this exercising I did." Um, there we go again with the M. I don't know what that was. Um, exercising. Yeah, so I've actually lost a bit of weight. Pretty good. You might have noticed. You might not have. And for some reason, my skin is so spotty. I do not like that. Not one bit. Not one bit good, sir. Uh, yeah. So, I'm currently planning my last expo, and I'm not going to ever get around to cosplaying Star Lord, so I'm going to have to sell that off too. I've been going through this thing where I've been selling shit off. It's been great. I sold off a whole load of old consoles. I mean, they're like, they're full of like precious memories and shit like that. I mean, I sold my um, signed copy of Metal Gear Solid. The reality is that I'm going to have to get rid of all this stuff at some point anyway. So why not get rid of it now? Book a huge hotel, which is what I've fucking done. Hotel room. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet. Get together all the group from the old days. Have a fun expo. Go out for bang. No regrets, because that's the reason I don't think I've been able to separate myself from the cosplay world and the anime world yet. Even though that I feel like I might have outgrown the scene somewhat. I don't know if that sounds like pretentious or douchey, but every time I go there, I look at like everyone else there. And I'm just like, I don't think I'm one of you anymore. I think I'm past it. Especially when you see the kids running around shouting out the same the fucking recycled memes. It's <laughs> downright depressing. And then you realize that most people you went with, uh, the people you hung out with before, aren't there anymore. They've all moved on. Yeah, I'd love to go back and just <laughs> do my first ever one way back in 2009 and go into it again as an absolute, like, blank. Because my first x it was, I heard a cosplay, I was like, oh, that'd be well awesome. Well awesome? Is that, is that actually something I say now? It'd be jolly great. Jolly, jolly wonderful. Um, so then I turned up at the expo and it just blew my mind. I was like, hey, these people are weirder than I am.
and I have a reputation for being the weird kid because I would often just say stuff that pops into my head and I basically learnt not to give a shit. I think my greatest moment was wandering past a classroom in um, sixth form and there's a group of kids, like I say kids, they're around my age. They're just sitting there, just like talking shit about me. Got through the door, just waved like, hello. They're just like, But no. Oh yeah, also to move this room around. Me and I was over like, I would have been here before and that would have been over there. So, yeah. So in short, I need to get out more. Get more motivated. Do one last expo, no regrets. Go in big. Boom. Oh yeah, the other thing I've been selling my shit as well is that I don't know. All the possessions and shit I have don't make me happy. They're kind of like an anchor. Who? I don't know how to explain it. But they're obstacles that are getting in the way of what I want to do now. And they created huge spacious issues and God knows what. So, hey, if you want a Dreamcast, I've still got one of those left. So, uh, right. Oh yeah, and also if you want my Star Lord stuff. But yeah, it's like half six in the morning, and I'm just buying time until Tesco's opens. Oh, and let's talk about the other projects that I never got around to doing, because why not? Um, so the podcast, I really think that would have been a really, really cool idea. However, I'm, <laughs> as much as I say, like, I'm ridiculously confident, and I am, the people, when I respect someone, it's very hard for me to ask something of them. Like, da -da -da. no, um, <laughs> um the, this is why I was the weird kid. Because my mind would just wander to be like, ah. Um, but no, when you respect someone, you like, I think it's over respect, but you can't really say that. I don't know. I find it hard to ask people that I respect, like, for this stuff, like, hey, here's this really cool idea. Because I've maybe they'll think, oh, idea, not so cool, don't really want to do it. And I'll just be like, hmm. In all honesty, they'd probably think it was a pretty okay idea. They'd probably go along with it. I don't know. Same. I have a million and one just ideas every day for stuff I could do. Like, I had this idea for, like... I've had this idea for ages. Um, let's talk. Does anyone know? Oh, you should know, because it's fucking awesome. It's Bacano, the anime. It's fucking amazing. But there's a steam engine museum near me. And they have loads of old steam trains. And of course, if you know Bacano, you know that most of it is set on a steam train called the Flying Pussyfoot Transcontinental Express. Yo, know, it goes across America. Then back again. Well, no. But um, I would love to just get a Bacano group and take some photos on the train. I mean, even if... In fact, screw it. If I could actually get together and do like a Lad Russo cosplay or something... I would pay to, to be able to, like, get some pictures done there. It'd be so cool. Yeah. Oh, and, um... The other thing I was thinking... I... <laughs> so weird. Yeah, so that'd be a cool idea. But, um, I don't know how many of you ever went to South End as a child. Uh, between... In the 90s, I guess. I mean, it was pretty cool. <laughs> and by pretty cool, I mean, it was pretty lame. We went there with my granddad. But um, someone else got me thinking about this. This, like, made me feel, like, pretty weird. Uh, see, no? 
We're going to try and get this going. Um, we went, see, we used to go one, two, um, yeah, there's going to be no Tom for a minute. Okay, so you can see that, right? Yeah? Now let's bring Fear Capture. We're totally editing on the fly here. This is really groundbreaking stuff. All right. Edit scene. So you're going to ask. Hold on. We can do something cool here. I have the power. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so goofy. Um, yeah. Why did I bring up a picture of He Man? Right, so there's this place, it's called Never Neverland, and it's shut down now, and that made me really sad when I thought about it. It was like this weird place, and they had, you walk through the forest, and walk through the trees, and there'd be little castle things, there'd be other, like, fairy tale figures there. But then you go into this room, you go in, and it's in this castle, you go in, and do you know what you find? You find a whole fucking animatronic diorama of He-Man, the Master of the Universe, and there are no pictures online of it. No one's got any. It really depresses me. And everyone that talks about it, like me, is like, did that really exist? Did it? Did we just imagine it? But yeah, my mum, my sister, uh, some random person, a radio presenter, they've all talked about it. It's just like, I would love, it was like a project to hunt down what happened to that diorama. I mean, just look. He man was fucking great though, guys. But yeah, it's still the most random thing. Um, I want, yeah, I really do wonder. I don't know if anyone lives near South End. I don't know, and can tell me what the fuck happened to He Man. Please do. Um, fuck it, it's like an 18 minute long vlog, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Sayonara, and I'll catch you on the flippy flip.